Hello, everybody. I'm Dare Tebbers. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. That's a lot of chrome. That's very chrome. Very chrome. All right, let's continue our career. All right, we're here. Okay, first things first. Uh, okay. Several of you pointed out that this is a thing. <laughs> That I have an oil drain and I should use it. Okay, I will remember that. Uh, garage, oh, can I customize my garage? Uh, I can, eventually. Upgrade points, available, one. Oh, okay, I don't care about that. Okay, so I can upgrade my garage, cool. Now, um, <clears throat> what we were gonna do, aha, toolbox, toolbox. All right, so I had asked what to do. Now, some of you said fast unbolting. And some of you said OBD scanner. And both of you gave, well, let me rephrase that. Fast unbolting, people just said fast unbolting. The OBD scanner, people gave a reason. And even though they are fewer, I'm going to go with them. So we're going to get the OBD scanner. Only by darts. Yes, that's what that's what that means. Bet you didn't know that. Bet you didn't know that. All right, let's see what we got going. Uh, break problem on our Katagiri Katsumoto, or a running gear problem with our Royala Crown. Okay, cool. Let's uh, well, let's take the break problem really quick. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's open a repair order. We need ABS module, ABS pump, brake caliper, and pad. Okay, cool. Uh, move you. You go to left lifter. And let's grab you. All right, let's see what you got. Uh, front, oh, good grief. Front shock cap, uh, front wheel hub, outer tie rod, rear shock A, rear suspension arm, rubber bush times two, uh, outer tie rod. I'm going to assume that means time two and a steering rack. Cool. All right. Let's move that to the right lifter. And let's buy some stuff. Car punch. All right, let's do this thing. Ain't no thing but a couple chicken wings. All right, you go up. And you go up. Get this done as fast as we can. Get these people out of here. Because they got things to do, places to go. Being in our shop is not where we want them to be. Okay. I know I can do this down below, but I choose to raise the car because for reasons. That's what I got for reasons. All right, so that's done. Those pads look good. Those pads look good. Ah, there's our bad pad. Bad pad, bad pad. <laughs> I like how the pad is shot here, but not the caliper. And the caliper is shot in the other spot. <laughs> kind of weird, kind of weird. 
Okay. Get this back on here. There we go. All right. Down you come. Alrighty, you. I see. Yep. That shock absorber shot right there. Let's pull him off. Go ahead and put the good shock absorber on. Cool. All right, this guy's down. Oh my goodness. How many bolts? How many bolts? Okay, that's gone. All right, that's gone. Install. Cool beans. This car is going to be done. That wasn't bad. Slap the hood. And you are done. See ya. All right. All right, I see the bad arm is there. And the bad piece there. Okay, that's good. Get there without taking this apart. That is a good thing. So that's a suspension arm. And one of the rubber bushings. So there's potentially one more bad bushing. Well, not potentially. There is one more bad bushing. Okay. Actually, can I... I kind of want to swing around and see if I can see. Oh, that bushing... Ah, that bushing right there is bad. Okay, so we got the bushings down. We're good on the back of the car. Now we have to... Correct. We got to get the steering rack out. That means we got to get both tires out. Dadgummit. Oh yeah, that's right. We had a bad wheel hub on this thing too somewhere. Thought I got that. Okay. Good there. Oh, I only needed one, didn't I? I only needed one outer tie rod. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. <clears throat> Those seem to be like a constant, so. Um, all right, I gotta take this all apart because we have to get the wheel hub. All right. Pop that out, and get that, and pop you loose. Cool, while I'm here, let's get, oops, that down. There, steering rack out. The new rack in, hey car, nice rack. <laughs> All right. Okay, that should be, we have a suspension cap we also have to fix, but we'll look at that in a momento. Okay, lock you up. Uh, yeah, go ahead, put that tire on. That all nicely bolted. Okay, let's check. Nope, it's that one right there. Off you go. And on you go. Sweet. Right there. Her. There. Yeah, let's put the, the less good, the less good one. Good grief. What kind of English is that there? I don't know. Boosh, I think this car is done. Yeah. Boosh da. Okay. Let's uh let's sell some of this stuff. I would do the sell all, but I can't because I have that spare thing there. Cause I'm a gibbon. Shouldn't have bought it, but I thought I was gonna need it, you know? Okay, good. 
I'm sure we'll have another use for it. All right. <clears throat> car, to, car is hard to control and break problems. All right, let's take you. All right, our Rhino Piccolo. Inner tie rod. Uh, sway rear end link. Sway rear end. That's it. Cool. Uh, move. Left lifter. And you. And you have brake caliper times three, disc vent, and pad. Cool. All right. Right lifter for you. Oh, all right. Up you go. Up you go. Yep. This way end link right there. All right, we got to get the tire off. We'll just do it from here because we're so pro. We can reach around the tire. So pro. All right. Pop that guy off of there. Put it back on there. Cool. Tire. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And now the inner. Oh, that one right there. Okay, this is this is a simple one. I mean, good gravy. Pop the tie rod off. How did you damage that tie rod, though? I mean, let's be serious here. What did you do? All right, let's do that. Boom. And you're good to go. Woo! -hoo. All right, brakes on all of these guys. Fast unbolting, I grant you, is a nice thing. <laughs> uh, but... Fast unbolting... Well, I don't know. I think I should just get a impact wrench. I mean, I don't really understand why I don't have one. Seems to me like, you know, a basic necessity for a shop. That guy out. Calipers back on. Now I'm wondering, so we got a, a disc, a ventilated brake disc, and that's obviously on the front of the car. Yeah, that one right there. Okay. Oh, it looks like this one's this entire break is shot. Okay. That'll actually be good because this is this is our third caliper. And our pads and our brake disc. Sweet. On on on. Boom. Sweetness. 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 Simples as can bees. Oop. And we are finished. Get rid of some of this gubbins I got. Making like a dollar. <laughs> yeah, well. Okay. What do we got? Knocking noise from the engine on a Salem Flamo. Tapping sound from the engine from our Royal Crown. All right. So let's take the Salem Flamo. Have we had a Salem Flamo before? Huh, I don't know. Let's take the job. I don't think we have. Uh, part not discovered. Great. 
Oh, good grief. All right, so we need a bottom suspension arm, front shock cap, a leaf spring U-bolt, an outer tie rod, of course, because I have an inner tie rod in my inventory, of course. Rear shock absorber B, rear shock B, a bushing, a spring cap, good lord, and a steering rack. Oh my goodness. All right, so something is knocking in the engine bay. Let's see if we can identify it quick. <laughs> Something's knocking in the engine bay. Oh my goodness. Can I? I don't know how there's an ODB, OBD device in this car, but. <clears throat> what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, well. <sighs> Something is knocking in the engine. I mean, I would think you'd get knocking in your valves and lifters, but. All right, let's send you to the left lifter. Um, this one also doesn't have a list, so let's take this job. All right, uh, let's see, what do you got? Idler Roller A. Okay. Oh, good Lord. Oh, an outer tie rod. Yeah, we don't have to buy that in a sway front A. All right, running gear. Brr. Okay, can I? Running gear, let's take it out on the track. All right, here we go. Go, car! Oh, it spun out. Sweet. Oh, turn, 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 turn. How's this a slalom? Oh, I see why it's a slalom. Hold on. Whoa. <laughs> made it all right so we knew about the sway no we didn't okay so i need a sway bar rear and link so sway oops sway rear an outer tie rod we knew about front spring okay and then did we need the other thing hold on Front, front sway bar. Okay, front sway bar. Okay. Send you to the right lifter. Let's buy the parts we know we need. Okay, that's what we, oops, no, go back. That's what we know we need, but both of these cars probably have other issues. Oh, this one has that knocking thing going on, all right. All right, um, what am I replacing this one? Oh, steering rack, so I do have to take this off, all right. Uh, oh, there's that end cap. Let's pop that off and put one on. You know, it's sort of like the take it while you got it type attitude here. If I see something, I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Otherwise, I will forget. Pop that guy off. Let's see, how are the bushings here from this vantage point? Up, oh, there's the bad bushing right there. 
Put it back on. Sweet. So we got the bushing taken care of. Now, let's see what else we can do here. Knocking engine. Does it really mean I'm going to... Oh, no. What do I have to do here? So to get that off, I need to remove that. So I need to remove that. And that. And that. And this. Good grief. Okay. Now you can get rid of the bottom suspension arm. Okay, that's clear. Let's put it back on. Cool. All right. So now we can just kind of build back this part of the car anyway. Oop, there we go. No, that. Thank you. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, 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 no. Give me that. You get that one. The other one goes on the other car. Thank you very much. All right, now let's get that tie rod out. Come on. Thank you. That out. That out. Back together here. Nope, 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 nope. Get out of there. Okay, this is now I've discovered a problem with having pieces from multiple cars. Put that on. And put that on. Especially when they're both having suspension problems, because now I'm accidentally putting the stuff on the wrong car. That. Uh, that. Okay. Alright, so we've assembled the front end of this guy again. Alright, that's that. Alright, back here. Let's get this out. Back in. Cool. Um, that looks like a bad spring cap, doesn't it? Yeah, so pop that, 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 and return it. Okay. There's a leaf spring bolt somewhere that's shot as well. That one right there. Can I... you off like so sweet 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 all right let's uh let's just check this out. okay so we got that so we have yet to do the knocking noises from the engine bay all right we'll get back to that all right let's let's do this guy really quick because I just saw all this rust and I'm like, oh, it's got, oh, that's a rear, oh, we don't, we didn't buy a rear knuckle. Oh, we're going to find one of the parts. I see, I see. Look at that. You just look for the rust and then you tear apart the car till you get to the rust. Okay. Can I pull you? I can't. Oh, good gosh. I have to tear this thing all the way apart, don't I? Sweet. Okay, and I'm, yeah, uh, oh, nope, I was going to say, I'm betting I have to take this apart. Oh, yeah, we have to disassemble the entire back of this car, don't we? Good grief. Okay. Fun times. What? Why can't I, oh, I can't assemble that because I have to remove all of this. Which actually works out because the spring cap is shot. Okay. Oh, it looks like this sway bar is gone. All right. Get that out. That out. 
Alright, so I need a rear knuckle something. Rear knuckle A. Rear knuckle housing A. I'll give you a knuckle sandwich is what I'll give you. Rear knuckle housing A. Alright. Knuckle housing back on. Put the wheel hub on. How did they do this? I mean... Put the hub in. Break disc. Like, how did people damage these parts of this car? Pushing in. It seems like it's like an exercise in insanity to get this much damage. But, you know, I guess everybody's got to have a hobby, right? These people's hobby is destroying cars, apparently. All right, spring cap. Okay, we need a new spring cap. Okay. All right. So we need to buy another spring cap. It's like a bathing cap, only not. Okay. Put the suspension arm back. Pushing back. Put the tire back. Okay. Good times roll. All right, we got that. What else did I need to replace in this car? That's another steering rack. Oh my goodness, this car's got to come apart. What happened to these people? What are they doing? Can you do this much damage to a car? I don't know. I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. I would think, you know. They wouldn't completely destroy their car. What do they do? Driving a I don't know. I mean, we're talking about sway bars, steering racks. Hmm. So I need to buy a new steering rack for this car, because I don't think I have another one, do I? Nope. Okay. Alright, let's let's get the steering rack and the Yeah, I want to sell that. Um, what was it that we needed? I can't make the outer tie rod. Ah, spring cap. Steering rack and spring cap. So we need... Cap. And... Steering rack. Good googly moogly. <laughs> I can at least assemble the rear end of this car now. Spring cap, spring. Err. Boosh. All right, so that's back together. Steering rack. Tie rod. Uh, not yet. Wait a minute. What? Huh? Wait. I thought I... Huh. Okay, I need another outer tie rod. I didn't realize I needed another one, but I don't know how that happened. Oh, 21 bucks. 
What's 21 bucks? It's a little bit more than 20 bucks, but less than 25 bucks. <laughs> All right, put that on. All right, so that is that thing. I guess he hit something pretty hard. I'm kind of I'm kind of seeing if there's something else that I'm missing that's Oh, I see a bushing right there. That guy off. I bet you I don't have another one. No. All right, let's go get another rubber bushing. I need a I need a faster way to do this. I need an assistant monkey. I need like a monkey that I can just be like, monkey, go get. And the monkey goes and gets it. That would be good, I think. I think that should be included in the game. All right, how are we doing here? Uh, we fixed that. We haven't fixed all that. Oh, crap. All right, so we have a spring cap. Do we have a spare? We don't. All right, so we have a spring cap that we have to... We have to buy a spring cap. Um, all right, I need you to allow me to get that off. Oh, crap. Why can't I take that off through... Oh, whatever. Whatever. that off of there. I see the problem in the back. I need a cap in the back too, apparently. I'm just looking for the worst of the rust. All right, get that out of there. Reassemble. Okay. That on top. Oop. The end link back together. Lap her together here really fast. Come on, come on, come on. Get in there. Thank you. All right, what it was it? I need a... No, right there. There we go. All right, so we need spring. We need two caps, front and back. Rear, front. All right, you. No, not the rim. I'm that on there. Woo. And that on there. Now that. Okay, so now we just have to get the tapping sounds out of the engine bay. That should be relatively fast because it's that. Cool. That. Pull the belt tensioner. Pull the belt. Pull the roller. Put the roller back. Put the belt back. Put the belt back. Put the tensioner back. Yeah! Boosh! Okay, this guy's the last one. Uh, can I examine that? That's fine. Er. Water pump. Rattle's fine. Head cover's gonna be fine. What would be... What would be... Knocking noise from the engine bay. We're gonna have to take the sucker apart. Alright, well... Wait, can we 
just no that's an electronic meter all right fine all right let's start pulling it apart i mean it's really what we're gonna have to do not high on my want to do list though i will say Because holy crap, the crankshaft is shot. Alright. Belt is fine. Oh my gosh. I was hoping, I was hoping I'd just have like a really easy, like, pull this off. Oh, the timing belt's bad. Now we're digging down into the guts to find the problem. That does not please me. Is that? Found it! They have a crankshaft problem. Oop. Man, these caps. I think that's if I could just do them all at once, but no, no. On the bright side, I mean, I had to tear the whole front end apart anyway, I guess. Okay. Yep. Alright. Crankshaft R for our single overhead cam. Uh, not crankshaft. Camshaft. What am I doing? Camshaft R for single overhead cam. Take it. All right, on you go. Get that bolt. Sure, put that on there, I don't care. Gotta put the whole thing together anyway. Okay. We're not even gonna get like 3000 XP in this episode, are we? It go longer than I wanted it to. Ugh. I'm gonna compress some of it. <laughs> okay. Belt. Tensioner. Cover. Camshaft. Idler pulley. Super time belt. Oops. Get out of my garage! Jeez. Alright, in my inventory, do I have any valuable stuff? No. Boosh. All gone. Ah. All right. Well, that was fun. Next time we have Reno Piccolo that has problems and we have a Royal Crown that has more problems. Loud when accelerating. I'll bet you money that is... Oh, look. It even says right there. <laughs> I was going to say, I bet you it's exhaust. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Well, next time we should have the experience to up our game again. Um, and I think we'll probably start, <sighs> you know what, as much as these are great, I'm going to go with fast and bolting next time. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do fast and bolting next time. Anyway, I've been Derek Tevers. This is Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. Until next time, remember, avoid potholes because you don't want to pay the repair bill.